Hey friends, welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new, I'm Leslie and I couldn't be happier to have you here with us. So if you haven't done so, if you'd hit subscribe, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you're back, then welcome back. I love you guys. Um, if you are new here, my name is Leslie. I am the Farming Pastor's Wife. I upload video mainly on cooking, sometimes grocery hauls, farming, day in the life of, an occasional clothing haul and try on um, just a little bit of everything. So I would love to have you part of the Farm and Pastor's Wife family. Today, we're, it's not the video I had planned. Things have taken, look, there's Bryant out there, but things have taken a turn for, was just taking a turn. So today is not ending up the way I had it planned, but today we're making hot dog chili diner style. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Okay, so if my eyes look like they're watering, they are Because I have just chopped up this great big onion And it was a strong one <laughs> So, uh, my eyes are, anyway, today's video was supposed to be the meatball subs, which were left over from my, the homemade meatballs I've made, and we were going to make uh, meatball subs. That would have been a pretty short video, and this one may be pretty short, but, um, I forgot we have a pretty big event tonight, and I won't be eating meatball subs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send those home with Caroline. I bought the sub rolls. All she's got to come by, do is come by the house and grab everything, take it to hers, and her little family can have meatball subs tonight. Um, so anyway, I'm making hot dog chili because we have a sportsman event tomorrow. We have an event, a dinner event tonight, and tomorrow there is a sportsman day here at our farm, and so we've got to make the chili, the slaw, Bryant's going to do the slaw, and uh, now I know he's going to be chopping up the onions. So, we're going to get started. I have chopped up a whole onion, and I'm going to get it in the pot to saute it. All right, so I have here a couple of tablespoons of butter. We're going to get down in there, and I have this onion, this whole onion that I've chopped up, and we're going to put her down in there. And we're going to get these sauteed up really well. I'm putting it in this big heavy container. I mean container. <laughs> this big heavy pot. Um, because Bryant's actually going to cook the hot dogs on his grill. And he's just going to set this, the chili, on the grill to um, heat it back up for the men going to be a fun day. They're going to be shooting skeet and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so anyway, we're going to get these onions sauteed up and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I think the onions are about sauteed good enough. I'm going to add in some garlic. And I've got my burner turned down because we definitely don't want that garlic to burn or anything. All right. So while that's cooking up just a little bit, let's come over here and talk about the meat. So first, let me tell you where this recipe came from. Years ago, I mean years ago, I watched Jan Creason's video on hot dog chili. And I made it, and it was delicious, and that is how I've been making it ever since. So that's where this video came from. I'm going to be cooking for a crowd, a, you know, a big crowd. So I'm tripling this recipe, but down in the description, I will leave you the recipe for just a family size. Um, 
There went the um again. I needed um, about four pounds of hamburger. And let me just tell you, this is a wise way to look. We were actually at Sam's looking for hamburger. They had hamburger in the tubes, the big, I think it's 10 pound tubes. Then they had the individual packed by one pound. Okay, I didn't need 10 pounds. I didn't need to pay. I mean, it might have been a great price, but I did not need the 10 pounds. Also, the price of the one pound packages were pretty expensive. So look what we found. And it was actually, I mean, this is how I'm doing it. They were patted out. It's 4.2 pounds. Um, it was three something a pound, which to me is still high. But anyway, um, it was much, it was cheaper to buy the exact amount that I needed than it was to buy 10 pounds. Now I could have saved the rest, but anyway, we went this route. So even though they're patted out, I'm going to be chopping them up and put, I mean, crumbling them up and so forth. So we're going to get this in the pot. Now let me go ahead and tell you, there's a part of this process that looks pretty gross because we're going to cook this hamburger in water. And it is not the most pleasant thing to the eyes to see, but the outcome of this chili is, oh my goodness, some kind of good. So we're going to walk over here. Um, I'm going to get some water. I'll meet you over here. All right, let's get this going here. Whoopsie. Sorry, guys. I was turning it. I was loosening it instead of tightening it. <laughs> Sorry. And it doesn't matter that they're tearing apart. That's okay because I'm going to... I want them apart anyway because it's chili. Hot dog chili, that is. Not like chili beans, but hot dog chili. We're going to move that. There we go. All right, let me wash my hands. I'll be right back. All right, let's try this again here. So I've got my hamburger over here. I've turned my burner back on. And I'm just, I'm not really chopping it up. I'm just kind of breaking it up. No other reasons. Now here's where things look unappetizing. But I promise you the outcome of this is heavenly. So we're just gonna cover this with water. And now you can start breaking it apart more. Um, I'll get my meat chopper out here in a minute. That works really good. But you want this to just fall apart in this water. And I know it looks yucky, but trust me, trust me. I'm gonna put just a little bit more water. All right, guys, we're gonna get this, bring this to a bowl. Be sure all the hamburger is um, into pieces. And um, we'll see you back in just a minute. Okay, so it has come to a bowl and um, I'm gonna turn it to simmer, but I just wanted to show you how loose that hamburger is. And that's what you want for hot dog chili. So we're just going to let this simmer away until the water has reduced. I'll keep stirring it so nothing sticks to the bottom. But we will. Um, we want the water to reduce some. Um, so I'll probably just let it simmer for about an hour or so. Um, I'll just keep an eye on it. And we'll be back in just a little bit to add all the good spices and stuff to it to make this a delicious homemade hot dog chili. Diner style. All right, so we've moved everything over here to the island just because it was easier for me to spread things out. Now, keep in mind, I am tripling the recipe. I will put down in the description below the actual 
the steams. <laughs> the actual recipe for like a family size. Um, <clears throat> so I've got to open up all my spices. I had some new spices I need to open. All right. So first thing we're going to add in is chili powder. And the original recipe is one tablespoon, but of course we're tripling. All right. Same with paprika. Paprika is the next. Now this will go back on the stove and simmer for probably another hour. And you know, I don't know if I have enough paprika, but we're just going in with all of the paprika. <clears throat> Worcestershire sauce. I probably should take the the little the little hang on, let's see if I can. There's one. I don't know if I can take it off. Let's see. There we go. Two, three. Now the mustard. These are the things I'm not sure I have enough of. <laughs> we'll see. No, probably not. One. Two. If I have to add this later, I can, but I think I can... That's pretty close. That's pretty close. All right. So, I've got a mess on my hands. Hang on. Okay. So, now we're going to go in with, um, the, the recipe calls for a teaspoon of salt, but in tripling it would be three teaspoons, but that may, I, I'm just going to go with two teaspoons. And then we'll taste it, and if it needs more, we can always add more. Same with the pepper. I would be tripling it to go to three, but I, I would rather caution on that. All right, so we're going to stir this around. You're going to see that delicious color take place. And we're going to get this back on the um, oven. Now, we got one more ingredient to go in. Now, see, doesn't that look like hot dog chili? <laughs> so good. Okay, hang on. We got one more ingredient. We've got ketchup. The original recipe is a cup and a half. So I'm probably going to stop at three cups, cook it down for a little bit, taste it, see where we're at. Again, let's see if, I, if it works better if I just take this lid off. There we go. two cups. <clears throat> Let me open some more ketchup. Ugh. This is what I get for making a big batch <laughs> on camera. Nothing's open. All right. All right, let's stop there at three. <clears throat> okay. All right. So we're going to stir that. I'm going to dip that in there and clean it off. <laughs> All 
good to the last drop. Okay, so we're gonna stir this around. I'm gonna get this back on the uh, uh, stove top and let it simmer for a little while longer and let these flavors just all meld together. We'll taste it and see if it needs more salt, more whatever. And so I'll see you back when we taste it to see what it needs. So I'm gonna let this simmer for about another hour and then we'll taste it and see what we need to add at that point. I think it's gonna be pretty close to good. Um, I think I was smart holding off on the, um, I was smart holding off on the um, salt, not going the full three teaspoons. Um, we can add that at the end if we see it needs it. Um, I always like to caution you know, to be a little conservative. And um, so that's what it is. I'm gonna clean up this mess and um, I'm gonna go see if I can do something to my hair for this event tonight. So I'll see you back when this is through, simmering up and getting all good and delicious. Okay, I want you guys to see this beautiful chili. I hope that color shows up on the screen that is I mean that looks so good mm -mm -mm. so how do you guys eat your hot dogs I am a mayonnaise mustard chili slaw onions and ketchup across the top I have an order to my hot dog <laughs> I don't want the ketchup down in it I want it across the top and I want the slaw under the chili I want you know the weenie and the condiments minus the ketchup, and then the slaw, and then the chili, oh, and then the onions, or the onions can, it didn't matter where the onions are. The onions can go wherever they want to. Um, but then the chili, and then the ketchup across the chili. So, one of my little quirks. <laughs> so, leave in the comments how you like your hot dog, how you fix your hot dog. Um, we don't do, I don't do relish on my hot dog. Um, I, I know some people do. I don't do relish on mine. Um, I will, however, when we go to Sam's Club, I'll get one of their Nathan's hot dogs and put sauerkraut and mustard on it. Um, but just for a regular ballpark type hot dog, mayonnaise, mustard, chili, slaw, onions, ketchup on top. So let me know how you take yours. I'm waiting for Bryant to come taste this and see what he thinks and see if it needs anything. And if not, we'll call this the end of this video. All right, everybody, it is time for the taste test. For some reason, she has hid behind the camera and left Ramey and myself here to do the taste test. She uh, She's over there goofing off. But anyway, hey, look, this is Ramey. He's a good friend of ours. He uh, goes to church with us. Today, we're setting up for our annual Sportsman Day where we shoot uh, clay targets and 22 rifles and stuff tomorrow here at the farm. And so, Ramey's going to taste this chili as long, along with me. He's vegetarian, so we don't know what his opinion is going to be, you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not. So, all right, Ramey, let's dig in. Here we go. I'm going to be honest. See the steak. Mm. That's a blue ribbon right there. Tastes like the BP, don't it? It's better than a BP. <laughs> the BP is a little service station that Ramey and myself go to to get hot dogs all the time. Now, that's what this chili's for, is the hot dogs tomorrow at the Sportsman Day. It's not too spicy. It's got a little heat to it. She puts up with a little heat in it. Chili. Got a little heat. Hey, good. Let me get another spot. All the thing that right there needs is a hamburger or a hot dog. Mm. That's all that needs right there. So, two thumbs up. You got to make it. And a toe. And, and a toe. toe. <laughs> and a toe. All right, guys. Hang tight. She'll be right back. Okay, guys. Did y'all hear the word blue ribbon? Yeah. So, I'm not going to add anything else to it. I think it's perfect. I'm glad I held off on the salt and didn't add it all, like the triple part. So be sure to look down below for the description and the recipe that I will have for the, just the regular. It's a pound and a half of ground beef and all the seasonings. And I'll leave everything down below. Thank you guys so much for watching The Farm and Pastor's Life. So glad you're here. Even if I'm looking rough today, <laughs> I feel good. I just didn't feel like fixing up because I got to fix up for this event tonight. There was no point in doing it twice. You know what I mean? So... All right, thank you so much for watching, and remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.